Hi, this is Rick. I wanted to talk about uh, an X-Men number four book that I worked on recently. I wanted to show you some video. Hopefully uh, you will, will like it. So this one was a special challenge because it was signed by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And I think um, this is a heart-stopping uh, video because it's hard to work on these old expensive books like this, but this one was a, a special challenge. A special challenge because of the tape on it. There was a lot of tape on the pages that was difficult. And there, uh, the staples were dirty. It was brittle, it was stained. Um, you'll see, so I go through much of the process of uh, showing you what I do here. And um, it's, it, was, uh, it was pretty fun. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. This book has several problems. It's, uh, it's got tape on several interior pages and tears. It has some really uh, awful looking staples. The staples are really loose. The stain, there's a lot of staining on the cover here. You can see on the inside, you can see the backs the same way. And, but it is signed by Stanley and Jack Kirby, so we have to be careful with it. And I'll go ahead and uh, remove the cover and start cleaning the book, removing the tape and take out those staples. So here's this one. It's got this spot here, which we're going to flatten out later. A lot of this junk. That's, that's the cover that we're going to split at the top. We're just going to take in an assessment. Very dirty on the inside. We have a uh, some of the same dirt and schmutz on the outside. So we're just gonna get photos of that stuff and then we're gonna try again here. See how we do. I was pretty sure I'd have some success with this book because I cleaned this copy of uh, Batman 171. Previously it had similar staining on the inside and it came up pretty nice and it was graded and came back graded higher in fact much higher and so i had I, no, none of that magenta came off the cover which freaked me out a little but it came back okay so i figured i'd pretty much have success with this book too here's what the inside of that batman book looked like i think it's just oxidation products of the lignin in the paper i just might i suspect i don't really know but uh, i think it gets sort of moist around the edges in a box or a bag and it kind of seeps in towards the middle of the book more it creates this line. I don't think you'd really notice it if the whole thing was that dingy and yellow, but this one looked like uh, this. And I was able to clean it up quite nicely, so um, I had reasonable confidence I would have success with this X-Men as well. Reference: This is what the inside of this uh, this X-Men cover looked like when I started with it. Cover looked like it was, um, yeah, I think, not as bad as the front. There's a lot, though, and it was really brittle. The paper was very brittle. Their customer wanted this tape removed off the bottom right hand corner of the splash page and there were a few other pages in here as well and uh, the paper was almost stiff uh, when I got it so that was a that was a special challenge and I really didn't want to hurt this this splash page of course because it's so important so you have to get the tape off and then you have to remove the adhesive too uh, so it doesn't stick to the cover of course that would ruin everything so that's what he wanted and uh, so that's what that's what we did so here we go, we're going to watch this closely and make sure that it's, it's okay. We're going to see what the tobacco will run. Let's see what things look like. After the front cover, before and after I washed it with the ImmaculateClean solution in my my washing machine. It's just uh, it's drying here, it hasn't been pressed or anything on my drying rack and you can um, see that difference. I'll show you the back page too. Which, um, you know, far from perfect, but better, I think, than it was initially. I think it definitely looks more uniform and bright in any case. So on that book, I had a trouble getting the tape off. And the tape, what I did was I rubbed the back with uh, solvent. In this case, it was uh, toluene and uh, surfactant. It was the um, X100, I forget who makes it now, uh, surfactant I use. And that, and that softens it up from the back so that the adhesive comes off a little easier. And then I used my heating iron that my friend made for me. So with the, the tape, you know, as I said, I put the solvent on the back of it and then 
uh, that helps to soften it up. Uh, at least the adhesive, it loosens the adhesive and absorbs the heat. And we can, um, we can then use the hot iron, which is about, it's hot. I mean, it's not cold at all. It's, it's, it's like 230, 240 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to get that adhesive up off of there. But be careful, use some care, it works. It works fine. All right, so let's see how this goes here.
pieces of tape I remove. They're very stiff and brittle pieces of tape. I can just pinch these and they just crumble in my hand. This is some before and after photos of the staples you're about to see. It's the same staple. These were cleaned anodically in electric cleaner solution at four volts. Uh, you know, the, the part was the anode and uh, worked really good. They came out great. This is the staple uh, before picture. It's barely on a piece of paper. It's only academically connected to the book and this is an after photo of what the uh, after I cleaned it and put it back in you can still it's just barely holding on to that piece of paper there but it, it is attached and it looks a lot better of course these are the this is an internal picture of a staple uh, I don't have a before picture but it's what it looked like after uh, and this is the other staple afterward for reference and here look at some reassembly here so here we are this is a Stanley Jack Kirby signed X-Men tape removed uh, water stains removed and we are 
going to reassemble this book. Now, normally I would work from the inside out, um, but this I'm a little, a little, I don't in this case because I'm worried about pushing this flap of paper that's torn out of the way. So you see this flap right here. I don't want to push that out. It's critical that I leave this here. Uh, owner doesn't want this book to be. Um, to be have any tape on. He spent a lot of time getting the tape off of it, so he doesn't want to add tape to it. And there's a few tears in the inside and the outside. There was page, tape on several pages inside, as you may remember. And so we are going to just reassemble it as is in, in place. And here we go. Oh, well, here we go. So we are finishing up this x book here. And I've got the staples cleaned and remove their both sticking to this magnet here and I'm just going to size them hopefully properly get my glasses on and so I'm just going to make sure that they are sized appropriately for this now they could be they could be weakened you know we want to make sure we don't want to fatigue them and they'll just be some staples are fatigued anyway just over time so I'm checking the sizing here with this holes and we're going to Put them in there, fit this in this slot nicely, and they should. Of course, they're not even, they rarely are, but we're just looking at the other side of this here and saying, okay, well, this could be a little straighter. This could be a little straighter here. That one looks pretty good, really. A little bit bent here. And that's not too bad. I don't want to bend it too much and over fatigue it. So that's one, that's good. So we'll put that here on my staple keeper. And this is the other original staple. That's from a different book. Whoa, hello. Ah. So this is um, second guy here. This is the, so this one needs a little more help, right? It's not quite lined up perfectly. Gonna kind of force it through, there we go those holes so it's sized correctly and it's sort of like practice getting it through the book right so they're not quite fitting in there right there we go if I hold this now if I press this down it'll force it into the ah can I get this off the tool it'll force it into the so if I hold this with my fingers see how it's kind of pointing in a little I can kind of straighten that out so that it's in a way that isn't damaging the book. Now they look a lot straighter than they did. And they can use that to help me put this book back together. And I can heat treat these too. I don't think these will need it. Um, I didn't fatigue them very much. So we will see how it works in a minute. Now these holes weren't lined up exactly on the spine. The front lower one was a little off on the front and so what we're going to do is we are going to trust our staple tool to get those holes lined up for us exactly right because that is the tricky part of the whole business right and if we can do that I'm going to take uh, my gloves off I need to feel tactilely where these holes are and get this exactly correct. So um, I don't want to be poking around this thing for a long time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where the holes are. I know that they're not exactly lined up. Right there we go. So we're going to, there's one, and then there's another. So if the tool was correct, these will line up. Exactly right, and they do. Oh, shit. So that one is lined up perfectly right, the popped right in. Uh, the, the staple tool was successful on that one, and I need to uh, take a breath <laughs> for a minute, and then we will get the other guy in there. Let's see. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. That was a, this guy fits in there just exactly right. Which is good. We're not going to flip the book over and straighten those out until we get the other the other side in, and we'll check it out. All right, so let's do the other side now here, and I'm going to feel 
tactically, tactically for this. These holes, which should be lined up properly. And again, I'm being very careful because this is not there. The staple tool helped me to get that exactly right in each case. And this is pinned and that's pinned. Okay, so now we're talking about flipping the book over. And we are going to reassemble the book. So that means that we're going to take the staples like this, kind of like that. And we're going to flip this baby upside down. And there they are, just where we got them, where we left them. And uh, so uh, going to bend the bottom staples in first here. I can see that here. And I'm going to take my staple tool here. And I'm going to um, use my mandrel, wherever that is. I think, you know, these staples were not rounded. I'm not going to use the mandrel. I'm going to just hold it with, just going to hold this guy here with one side of this while I push the other side in. These were not rounded. And then I'm going to hold this guy down like this with the staple tool while I, with using the little relief there, while I push this side in, and that helps this side. And then there's, this is always the critical moment because you don't want to, you don't want to push too hard on the book. There we go. Just gonna push that little joker in right there. And then we're gonna do the top one after this guy's right. There, okay. Good enough. Then we'll do the top. And uh, also because there was um, there was tape on this front side, on this front page, of course we're gonna protect that page as well. And with these with this strip here, but we're also gonna put another you know, additional uh, silicone sheet here. We really want to protect this front page from any kind of anything. So we're going to put pieces on either side of it in addition <laughs> to the little strips we put. And uh, we'll press it and we'll see. This cover is barely on here. You can um, but the staples look really good. They're very shiny. I don't know if you can see. Um, and we'll press it and we'll, um, we'll see how it looks. The before and after on this particular book. Uh, I think it's, I think there's brighter light in the second picture, so it might be falsely a little bit brighter, but it looks better, I think. Um, and the staples are cleaned up, the tape's removed. So overall, I think uh, this one was a uh, success. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, I know that was a, a long video and kind of torturous to watch, and I probably had too much detail in some sections and too little in others. Like I noticed, I didn't have a good video on removing the staples. Uh, I recorded it on my little like headset camera, which I don't have here with me, not in my own country. But I just wanted to get this this video out. It's been bothering me for a while, and uh, it took me hours and hours and hours to clean this book and more hours to of course edit this video even though i don't do a great job at it but uh, i appreciate you guys watching it in any case and i uh, hope it helps you out uh, take care uh, bye bye see ya